An update to a story we've been following for a while. It's been almost two weeks since Justin Talon and his Pacific Rex crew headed across the ocean in search of a plane with a connection to our area that made history. Northern News Now's Jeffrey McClure stopped by the Duluth Air Show today to learn about the mission. We spent the weekend at Duluth's annual air show where planes danced around the night sky for thousands of fans. But what about the warplanes that don't make it home? Well, one nonprofit traveled across the Pacific Ocean to find a plane with specific ties to the Northland. The Bong Center's booth at the air show is teaching people about a plane that was lost long ago and the mission to find it now. Richard I. Bong's famous P-38 Lightning, nicknamed after his then fiance Marge, went down in Papua New Guinea in 1944. Probably his most famous of all of its planes. It went down on um, another pilot was flying it on a recon mission, I guess, and uh, he hit some bad weather and he had to bail out of the plane. It crashed and they knew kind of where it was, but um, because the pilot survived, they never searched for it. Now it's been over eight decades since, and according to Gidley, they may be receiving an update soon from Justin Talon, who's leading the expedition. We're going to New Guinea to find Marge. This is our objective. This and it's been torturous waiting for information. I, just the fact that, you know, you see them on the ground there in New Guinea, and they went into the jungle, and then what we did hear back is that they're, they're very positive that there is a site there, and, um, you know, we're just waiting in anticipation. If found, they will start off with a five-day site survey, casing the area to find everything they can before sending pictures and videos back to the Bong Museum. But for Gidley and the Bong Museum, it's about more than finding Marge, as they hope they can build relationships with the people of Papua New Guinea and the National Museum of New Guinea. And the biggest part, too, is us, the, the connection with the people of New Guinea. I think that's the great thing that we want to do. We're trying to establish a sister city program with them, and I think that would be huge for us if we can uh, connect the dots there from, from Poplar to Papua. In Duluth, I'm Jeffrey McClure with Northern News Now. And regardless of the outcome of the search, the Bong Center plans to make exhibits and educational programs about the journey. This is a story we'll continue to follow while the expedition is underway. For more information, go to northernnewsnow.com.